as you see, members of the Black Man Army and Black on Black, we are out here at the Cleveland uh, Commission on Police where they have their hearings. We're going to continue to stay vigilant at these hearings, even though we don't really believe that much is going to come out of them. We're going to continue to stay vigilant. And the main reason that we're staying vigilant right now is because our opinion has not changed on CPA policeman Steve Lomas, who's on this commission. We've been waiting on him. Don't seem like he's coming. Maybe he's resigned like he said he was, which he should for the statements that he's made. However, we will continue to wait. I see the policemen have came in the back and they're watching us and we're watching them, but we're really waiting for Loomis. Mr. Loomis, where are you? Where you at? Bro? We're waiting on you. We're Mr. here. Mr. Loomis, where are you? We're here. We're here. Where you at? Where you at, Loomis? As long as you continue to make those statements, we're going to continue to press that you resign from this commission. A grieving family. Will you tell a grieving family what they should do with $6 million that was hard fought? It wasn't uh -huh. given to them. It was $6 million because the city of Cleveland realized that they made a grievous error, that they allowed two of their officers to murder a 12-year-old. Let's put it out like that. They murdered a 12-year-old. They murdered Tamir Rice. They allowed two officers who never should have been officers in the first place, uh -huh. such as Loman, who was not fit enough to be in his own de police department. Mm -hmm. And they let him come over to Cleveland and slip through the cracks. They let Garn back, who had a problem in the East Cleveland area, come over here. And now, Tamir Rice, he was dead, murdered. So the city of Cleveland sat out and said, this never should have happened in our city. The mayor even said, this never should have happened in our city. And what happens? Steve Loomis, who was nowhere in this, had nothing to say, shouldn't have said anything, but it back into this affair and said that maybe with this $6 million, what the family will do is put out there and start teaching youth about gun and gun safety. It's mighty funny throughout these years. And remember, this is Steve Loomis' second tour of duty as union head. Not his first, but his second. It is very interesting that after all of the police shootings, that no police union has stopped out there and said, we're going to add extra money for gun training and better uh, training techniques for our officers. That has not happened. So right now we are here to call into session Steve Loomis and to say that Where he pays at, for what he's saying. Where you at Loomis? We're here. Black Man Army is here. Where you at Loomis? Stop that crying and come on out. Mm. Stop that crying you can't hide forever because we're going to be here every day. We're going to be where you at. Come on out, Loomis.